yeah, I mean, it's it's not a bad idea, and it's also not terrible to have people around that are just, like, super casual occasionally around to run a key, you know? Good. Like, the more well, people here. around to do stuff is good. Yeah, uh, not, like, uh, not like the guild master disappeared. The winds are still, yeah, like, not that hunter dude. I will suspect Who? The worst. Oh. <laughs> M something? I don't know. The M something? No, Reese? Clans. Or Reese, Reese. Yes. Or yeah, something. And like Maybe it was that. I can spare no hunters for the I don't know. Now. It's next next week on uh, on Monday. I'll have to look and see what his name is. When Balakar's warriors ambushed us. We must retake our weapons of war and drive the Nokud back. When granite's blood soaks the ground, our purposes can align. I don't know why I'm not feeling the big plus at all this tier. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not like saying I, I could say the reason why, and I, and I definitely, you know, I, I think everybody should enjoy what they enjoy, and I'm not, I, I'm really happy that everybody's super active, but I don't know. I think it's a pretty fun dungeon. I mean, rule. I say, I say. The Aphex would make it not fun. With certainty that this is probably one of the hardest seasons that they've ever come out with, and yet we have a... I mean, we, we, we saw, like, what, five people get 20s tonight? I mean... Yeah. I was curious, Malv, I was going to ask earlier, because you said you had sort of uh, given some thought uh, to, like, how far we're going to make it this tier, and yeah, I was curious, like where, like your calculus on that, because I feel like yours was very conservative. I mean, a very safe. Yeah, it's estimate. when I, when I when I looked at where our roster was and like preliminarily looked at where the fights were, and this is before even like the race world first had even happened, and I had this is just like going off of like beta information and what I thought of mechanics and stuff. I was like, we get to Kurog and kill Kurog, I'll be really happy. But like that's like what I would have said about like Sanctum Nexus. But we've had two two more tiers of like really solid growth. Yeah. And I mean look, we're gonna we're gonna kill Kurog and we're gonna we're gonna get lots of time on Dathia depending on how we play that and what tuning looks like and you know, we very well may kill that boss as well, which would be pretty great. Are we still gonna be doing a hero? Yeah, for the bow. Yeah, we're just, it's honestly, we're just gonna do Razageth, and then we're just gonna call it. Yeah. I'm saving my heroic lockout so we can just go directly to Razageth. Perfect. And then that's that's the week, have a good weekend. I'm asking because we did, like, the first two Yeah, I mean, we have to talk about it, but I imagine that we'll probably do the first two bosses. All of our farm well done. tomorrow. Keep retaking the I mean, on Wednesday, rather. Two more remain. I guess it's technically tomorrow. I just uh, did a 20 jade with the top 30, or like rank 30 demon hunter. In oh, Club. nice. Didn't you also get to get rolled in PvP by Trill, too? I did get rolled by Trill, yeah. That's, you find quite the, uh, quite the tier. <laughs> High mythic plusers get get wrecked by Trill and PVP. You know, actually, it wasn't even our worst game. Like we, that's we, we put up we put up a good fight. He, I mean, like he was playing at like 1400 MMR though. Like without a doubt, this man was doing a paid boost. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, that that gentleman is probably. I mean, you could argue that he's probably the best that's ever played the game. Yeah, everyone was telling me this. I had like never heard of him. I mean, he's just a he's just a PVP monster that also happens to rate at a world first level. 
there's not a lot of people that can do both of those things at that like world class level. And he's been doing it for a while too, so it's a pretty pretty impressive resume. There's a 2700 bot rate. It's interested in joining, but I don't think. What was our what was our center? Nearly there. So got, See to the final you weapon. Said they increased our rank. Yeah. I don't have a target. It was like 1016 or something. Well, 1061. Yeah, US. 1061. There you go. So it, it went from 1114 to 1061. Are we still like uh, tied with rally? I'm pretty surprised about honestly. Um. No, they they killed uh, Karak. Probably were ever tied with Rally based on his rank skills. Is Rally our guild rival on the server? We were Rally. Rally is the guild that Marius joined when Nexus killed. <sighs> we were US 750 on with on Kalandras. That was our best rank since reforming in Shadowlands. Yeah, but if we if we keep sort of going at this pace, we we very well make it. But and also, Palandris. Well, I, I'm very happy with the Palandris. The battle has you know, turned. It's you're definitely working with a handicap when you're doing the last tier versus the first tier. Because where did we lose? Oh, all the, the guilds primal council. <laughs> That's where we lost Grant. We went from US 700 on Heroic Aeronaut to US 900 on Terras to well, US 1700 on I mean, Counts. That's because we did Raz and stuff, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Also, Heroic. First, first bosses are kind of just like when your raid schedule falls to some degree. Can you stand against my might? Death, yeah, was a big, big hit as well. Destroy! Uh, yeah, we're going. Yeah, Primal to Council of Terra is up 500 ranks. 82 Die. pulls on Sinar. So you guys don't think we're going to get beat? Tremble! No. Uh, probably not. I mean, I don't know how long the tears are going to be, but if it's in May now. I mean, it just depends if they make the shit out of everything or not. So the best guild on the server, so we spent 82 pulls on Sinar. They spent 57 on Sinar. So. Honestly, that makes me feel better. However, they spent 102 on Kurog. So... Yeah, we're gonna be this <laughs> like, But actually, yeah, that really does surprise me. They're the best guild on the server. That's, that's not so bad. I mean, it looks oh, like mine. Ultra yes. Instinct. This can't be right. Destroy unless I'm unless I'm counting so I'm six, there's only 60 kills of of Razageth and like in the US. Oh, yeah. there's, there's it says Ultra Instinct kills and aren't having four pulls. I, I feel like it's being logged incorrectly. Ready to fire. <laughs> I mean, look, if we get a, get a relatively quick, uh, Herog kill, I mean, we might, unless, again, I'm, unless I'm missing something, it doesn't look like there's more, like, we might get, like, 800-ish. So, Keepers of Kittens, which is the Pixel Enthusiast re reincarnation, spent 59 on Sinarth, and then 19 on Kurog. I could see us doing something similar. Are you sure that's right, though? Sometimes Pixel 
I like they would just like be missing days, at least you know, months ago or years ago. Clan I'm telling you, Mary, so I don't think it's gonna take us. To I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. I think we can do it with 30 bulls. The storm must be quiet, now, Agile Peacock, which I have to assume is the reincarnation of Silly Gooses. <laughs> Although they don't, they don't, they don't mention it. They spent 63 on Sinarth and 122 on Karak. Did he get big nerfs recently? He did get some nerfs. So it seems to be like the ones with the older kills spent a ton of pulls he, on him. He, he definitely got nerfed. Um, he's he's it's a it's a it's a throughput fight for sure. So you know if if you're looking at older kills like it's uh it's a it's kind of a factor of like they are, they just were trying it at like lower eye levels which made it a lot harder like that this is definitely the type of boss that like if you get everybody in gear it's gonna be a lot easier. Hearts on Trash killed Karak two days ago with 40 total pulls. Yeah, that seems much more in line with what's like. I like I like I really do think we can do it. Who's in fight? He is one of the He's your I'm replacement? Here. Congratulations. I'm here to give him a big class and maybe some little upgrades. Those two friends that are also probably gonna come up with. Did you get to be a part of a Mythic 20 here? Well, me and Bells are doing my 20 knock you, but whether or not what time is up in the air. I mean, I don't really. I'm, as long as I have one for the vault, that's, that's okay. I need a 20 knock you on, on Fortified. Oh, okay. Well, you worked on your. Um, we're doing the. When did you start? Uh, so many. It's too far away. That's how I finished. I need to get close. I actually feel kind of nauseous. Do you guys ever have like the headache that's like so bad where you feel almost sick to your stomach? Yeah. That's what I was talking about that earlier. Yeah. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's what that was me the other night. I was it literally like I felt sick like every and every like light and everything was bothering me. Every sound. It's like my eyeballs wanted to explode. Go lie down. Yeah, yeah. You should not be on the computer like that. Oh, I was trying to help out Mr. Senpai and I had to tell Bungo that we're about to really be counting on him because he's our monk buff, so if he's gonna miss raid or be late, please let me know, but ostensibly the plan is is Bungo's gonna be our main monk buff and Dylan will be back up. I believe a... that uh that Cyber is also hearing his uh, yeah, misweaver just for like break glass in case of emergency situation. I read that. No, that will be super helpful. <sighs> um, and then in terms of healing, I mean, the I just don't. I don't know that it makes sense to recruit another healer because. Then we're not really gonna spot for secular when he does come back, and we have Captain and Mitch. You know who are doing. Wow. Well. At least Mitch is doing a solid job. Wow. Like, well, we have you. We have you. I mean, you know. So I. Wow. I guess what I'm saying is we have we have our healing. We do so. have options for yeah, for us so off speculators. Yeah, yes. So I, I probably won't get one because I'd feel bad. You know, basically telling the new healer to go away a few months. Yeah, I mean, any anyone you would recruit would have to it's be like, okay, you're gonna heal for yeah, three to which, three to six months, and then zero percent chance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be more of like one of us is going to be covering I mean, more healing than the other ones would have. Secular is gonna go through a pretty major life change here, like 
I feel yeah. like it may be a mistake. Well, no, no, he's he's gonna be gone. I mean, we 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 are scheduling him as gone for the rest of the year, so it's it's we're not like. I mean, listen, I it's I've talked to him at like the about totem. this type of Quickly. stuff, and and everyone's situation is different, uh. but like. It's it obviously is going to be a massive change. Marked but by like when you, when you first have a kid, like you, he feasibly could come back and play earlier if he really wanted to. It's just a matter of how his life is working out and what he wants to do and th how things are going. Some people, like I mean, for me, and part of it was just like I also had we had our our, our first when um, like right at the start of COVID. So for me, it was just like, well, what the fuck else all am I going to be doing with my time? So that's what why I was playing pretty early, because I just found it to be like a nice, stable, therapeutic thing that I could do and talk to to other human beings while I was doing it. Oh, for sure. I mean, <sighs> I have a child. I imagine that I will greatly look forward to the time that I'm able to play World of Warcraft. I will jealously guard it. So, you know, it's, there's, there's no reason to think that he wouldn't be able to go and, and take a leave and then come back. But it's all just going to depend on how, how things are going, you know? I would also now be fully expecting to, at some point, three months from now, being like, yeah, dude, nah. That can also totally happen. But you know, eventually, like, like by the time they're, you know, six months to, to a year, they start to sleep and things are good. The biggest fear is Pandy becoming a Karen. Just because she's a mom? Wow. <laughs> Dude, if, you, if you're isolated, it doesn't matter if you're a mom or a dad, you get isolated with your kids, no social like contacts. A, Pandy's like a super, like, a high powers, corporate exec. Yeah, she's just gonna ignore that kid like he's supposed to. Start joining mom, mom Facebook groups and going to mom meetups. And... Oh no. I, I, I honestly, I don't know why. I mean, obviously, I don't know Pandy like super well, but I feel like Pandy. I mean, it's Pandy doesn't it's... strike me as like a mom. Probably not. <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta but... get on the mom Facebook groups and say, you know, well, what's going on in your town? It's not just for moms anymore. It's like the mom Facebook group is how I know whether or not like trash goes out on a holiday. Honestly, she's just gonna create like a right. Facebook group named like Three Chains of Hands World. This is just a random question. Now, are you in the George Santos district? Oh, oh yes, I am. Oh, God. That's my congressman hashtag. That's my oh, congressman. <laughs> I, 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 I got I got to, to ex I get to experience all of the local news around my wonderful representative in Congress. It's fantastic. Oh my God. Ask me anything about my congressman. That's gotta be crazy, dude. It's I love the craziest. him. It's it's extra it's extra crazy shit because like like he he ran in the prior election cycle, and you know we had a, an incumbent that was like heavily heavily heavy, heavily favored to win, and so nobody really paid any fucking attention to him. And, um, you know, he, like, he gained votes just because, like, we've got a lot of, um, like, Long Island is a very, uh, very much becoming a much more red place than it is, has been over the last, like, decade or so. People are shifting back toward voting Republican, and so, you know, he picked up some votes, but it was, like, closer maybe than people expected, but not really a thing, and no one, no one really paid any attention to him. And then this time around, it was just, like, I mean, it was a few things, like, one, our governor was kind of, like, unpopular with, like, a mainstream Democrat. Yeah. And, um, and then also, like, just, it was this weird, like, no, you know, no major other race other than the governor race to get people to come out and vote. So people just, the turnout was lower, and nobody really gave a shit about this election because neither candidate was really that interesting. Today so we, we learned that the one candidate was like very interesting because he just made up his whole fucking hope. life. 
You'd think though, like every candidate just from like the party would get like, you know, five hundred bucks worth of Oppo rose. research on them. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently they did a whole bunch of Oppo research, and the media just did not <laughs> run it. Ukel has allied with Clan There's no way. There's that no is, way. That, dude. You would see. <laughs> apparently, that's alliance. what happened. It's it's the, the 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 hilarious thing to me is that like you have you have to understand where I am in like in Nassau County. Like our one of our prior county executives, like who was a Republican, he, he's literally in federal jail right now right that's how corrupt he was because him and his wife both went to federal jail because they took bribes and and there's there's so many just people that have been prosecuted and convicted uh, from the republican party in Nassau county and they were coming out and being like nah this guy's too much like we can't he's like uh he's like he should be ashamed like he's a uh, like he's a joke like he should resign <laughs> like that's it's like like this is the people that we're normally dealing with, and like they're saying it's too much. You know, it's bad. It's it's clear to me that like most of the people either were like willingly or very happy to close their eyes and just believe whatever this person was telling them. And honestly, like knowing quite a few of the people that are around me in this area does not surprise me. Like if anyone, if if this is the perfect place uh, in in America for him to get elected. That's, I mean, that's just so crazy. We, we deserve him. Yeah. <laughs> he is, he's something else. He's, he's, I mean, it's really, like, if you watch the interviews he's done sort of since he's been out of, he's oh, just, yeah. like, he's just, like, crazy. Like, he, he yeah. just, he just... It's it's just Legend. great because like every day there's some new crazy shit that's come out. Like it's... the best was that he stole puppies from the. <laughs> that was that was the best. It's, not, it's the the I'm. It's like it's to the point where it's like I'm I'm like, I want to see a birth certificate. Like I I don't even is he is he even actually from this country? I don't know. <laughs> His name pretty, definitely isn't George pretty... Santos. Well, I mean, there's there's great video of like him at some event where like he's getting introduced and and the guy's like oh, I don't know who this George Santos guy is. I'm always like Tony DeVolde. Yeah, he has three names. He has Tony. De he has like one other one too. Like he, he's <laughs> triple name. George Anthony DeVolde Santos. Yeah, the Brazilian drag queen <laughs> who steals puppies from the Amish and steals, and steals money. Then steals the money from the sick puppies and. <laughs> Stole that guy's scarf. <laughs> it's <laughs> everything. <laughs> Wait, steal puppy? Yeah. yeah. He's a dog? He like he scammed some Am do you, like you know what Amish people are. Like, yeah, those? yeah, yeah. Yeah. He scammed some Amish people. Like, like he basically gave them bad checks and like convinced them to take because they didn't typically only take cash, but like he he gave them some story and they decided to take his checks and they gave him a bunch of like. You know, sort of breeding quality puppies, and the check bounced, and he just pieced out and sold the like, puppies. I'm I'm just waiting to wake up one day, and it's like he sold a marching band to a small town in Iowa. Like, like what like what is this fucking guy gonna do next? But that's like comic book of the '60s kind of evil. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, what he is. <laughs> like that's what like if if you if you wrote this guy as a character like a like corrupt lying congressman in a tv show it would get completely rejected because he is too unrealistic <laughs> so yeah that is you're right that is that is my congressional district it's fantastic we have we have great people here that do their due diligence on the candidates and totally just don't vote based on who's running in what party and so to me Democrat must have really like been a <laughs> He was just the, the you know, he was just not interesting to some like party uh, operative that had been the working behind death. the scenes in elections for a period of time and and had been like working within like the state party for a while and was like, okay, now it's my time. It's her turn. <laughs> and he was like just completely just, just not compelling at all. Like, I don't think anyone, he's just some random, like, wet fart of a moderate that nobody cared about. Democrats aren't really good at that. Just this sort of, like, they believe it's this weird, like, merit based system it's, where, it's, where they might fall, like, like for their you, you have to under You have to understand, all of the, the, the reason that George Santos is allowed to exist, this is all Andrew Cuomo's fault. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> 
Do you know what this motherfucker has <laughs> set New York and 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 by there for the country back a, an unbelievably long period of time? Because he he it's, instead of like appointing the the like, people that would actually like raid the system for his party because that's how the game is played now, like and, and put them into the state, the highest court in the state. He nominated these like basically asshole Democrats in name only type people who kind of form their own coalition and struck down the New York gerrymandering uh, map that our ridiculous super majority of Democrats in, in the state house had, had drawn up. And so the districts that should have been there, that should have all been deep blue, ended up getting turned into competitive across the board. They flipped almost the entire Long Island uh, congressional map red. All thanks to Andrew Cuomo being an incompetent asshole and putting the wrong people onto the, the highest court in the state. Yeah, I mean maybe uh, he did it. You know what? And and one of them is again the former district attorney of of my shithole county, who is a complete moron, who was the protege of one of the prior uh, representatives in Congress, Kathleen Rice, who was also a fucking moron. Who loves to make himself out? Uh, one of her her proudest things was was holding a press conference in Nassau County to talk about this wonderful like AP test cheating ring that she broke up. It's like oh I stop people from cheating on standardized tests, guys. Like I, I covered this criminal syndicate, and then she ran for Congress and won. Man, fuck kids great. for wanting to be get into better colleges. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. Doing better on some arbitrary test that doesn't fucking mean anything. I want to be like Kathleen. Somebody broke into my house while I was sleeping and stole my TV. Like, that's fucking, that's crime. <laughs> Maybe fix that shit. Is that Kathleen Hochul or whatever? Will no, 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 that's like flesh. Catholic governor. She's a joke. She's but, a governor, right? Yeah, she's, she's a joke, too. It, it, like, the governors in New York, it, isn't it, hasn't it been three in a row that have resigned in this crisis? It's all of them, man. But like, but like, it was Spitzer, it was the blind guy, and then Cuomo. Yep. Like, all, all three of those guys were in a row. Yeah. The guy. <laughs> yeah, David, yeah, David Patterson. He was, David Patterson. Uh, I couldn't remember his name. But yeah, like, he, uh, he also was was corrupt. Yep. Yeah, but like literally, I mean, three in a row, like to reside in disgrace. I mean, that's something's going Got a on. Record. Well, it's. I mean, listen, you know, like Spitzer, like he he was just a fucking steamroller, right? He 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 was he basically he pissed off the wrong people and they caught him with his mistress, and that was the end of that. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Patterson just liked money, um, which you can blame him. And, uh... <laughs> Money's great. You know, Cuomo was, uh... He was... A... Cuomo is the type of guy that... You know what annoyed me the hell at... The worst part about the pandemic is America started to think Andrew Cuomo was a competent human being. <laughs> like, he... It was... It was... I had yes, to, like, killed all see the old him... People. I had to see that motherfucker stand up there and do these press conferences and everybody just like fawning over like America's governor like while he would do these stupid COVID press conferences. I was like, I wanted to, I fucking hated Andrew Cuomo forever. He, he, one of the first things that he did when he got into office is he started this whole anti-corruption like board, right? That was going around investigating people. And that existed for about six months until they started to look into one of his buddies, and and then he shut the entire fucking thing down, and in like as quiet a fashion as he possibly could have. That was his like first major act as governor, was to do that. To dismantle his own corruption task. Exactly. The second that they started to look into his massive amounts of corruption. With your and then he decided to name a bridge after his dead dad, and um, then he killed a whole bunch of old people during COVID. I need to get close so thanks. And then he then he went on CNN and did his idiot brother show, and and was just joking around about who, with what her mom likes some more. Oh, and everyone was like, I... "Oh my God." What a what a strong, wonderful leader in this time his, of crisis. His brother had to be dumb enough to like throw away his whole career for no reason at all. It's they're 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 goons. Oh, they're idiots. <laughs> Fredo. <laughs> it's true. He is. <laughs> I can't stand him, man. See, at least you know I'll give Chris Cuomo. He was at least entertaining. Like, Away from him. 
Theoden is pretty boring. Dude, he didn't die. He's on like News Nation or some shit. I, no, I, I'm not. No, I'm not like pouring one out for, for this. I just, I just, as somebody that you know watches a lot of, just intakes a lot of news in general via the internet and paper news and all sorts of things. I have, a, I have a tough time watching the other two stations, so I find myself even watching BBC and CNN, and it is... It BBC is, is awful. Wait, How so do you watch that? Weren't you a Fox News fan? No, I mean, I, w I watch Fox, like, like during certain times where I'm kind of curious what their perspective is. It's the same with them as CBC, but I don't watch it. I, yeah, that, that's... I, I can't stand when people, whenever people, like, are like sort of righteous and are like I gotta I, get up my program. I know the right answer to everything. I, I can't stand it. So at least you know. I mean, I know I know. Obviously, CNN has like a bias, but it's it's at least not like just shameless. Like this is you know either the Republican or Democrat. Like you know. I mean, network. I'll never forgive CNN for ruining their New Year's show by not letting their anger oh embarrass themselves with that alcohol. Was, no. That that is the dumbest fucking thing. And then, to be fair, that, that was that was, that, that was this new asshole from like Warner Brothers, Chris Licht, and that I mean, if I if, can't get my Don Lee Moan on uh, New Year's, I don't yeah, want to watch want CNN drunk. anymore. I, I, I like that lady that used to like go to all the pot things and she yes. was incredibly high. It was really funny because this is like a lady that was like a pretty like serious reporter in every other context. But like she was like, oh, like they put her on the pot bus. Yeah, they put her on the pot bus. It was so I good. It was so good. And everybody was so drunk. And I loved it. And, and they, they'd always they'd send somebody down to the Florida Keys and they had yeah, the. It was, yeah. it was so good. Yeah, they. They had, they had the drag queen and the giant shoe. It was fantastic. <laughs> Like, that's what I want, and, and from CNN. Yeah, we get all the drunk people in New Orleans at the beach. Like, honestly, they should just do that every day, and I would watch a lot more CNN. Like, this, the, the New Year's, the New Year's programming is not news. Like, like we, we all agree that we're taking, like, a night off from news and just watching this for entertainment purposes. Like, yeah. they don't need, they don't need journalistic, like, standards. And I, mean, I, need, I need Anderson Cooper, like, yeah. giggling and drinking. <laughs> And I need and I need Don Lemon in New Orleans getting yeah. completely destroyed. The best thing I learned though this year, and I guess he was like sober, so he said something weird, but he said that he had never had a pickle. And to this day, I cannot get over that statement. He said he's never eaten a pickle. This this man is like 55. How has he never had a pickle in his life? There's so many things a pickle comes on, comes with, like... Like, at some point you had to have a hamburger that's like it accidentally had a pickle on it. Weird-ass Vanderbilt upbringing did he have? Yeah. I'm out of range. Yeah, Brute Keeper really doesn't look too bad. Your skulls will shatter beneath my hooves! Like nope. It's, it's, the pull counts are basically... Slash and yep, it's not good. Daffy has definitely stepped up. And then Raz, Raz is like a 300 pull boss. Well, Raz again is very yeah. overtuned still. It's just overtuned. It's it's yeah. crazy. It was it was arguably overtuned, like even the first time. Like judging by this, we might get seven of eight. It's all gonna come down to how fast we kill Dathia. Yeah. You cannot stand if we, if we get a reasonable Dathia kill, then and, and we give ourselves like 
a couple of weeks at least to give her to keep her dead, then I think we'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the the one thing that I will say the about her keeper is that to it's gonna have to be Bell's doing the eggs because DK can cheese it real hard. You, you kind of need a DK to tank the boss during the egg phase. But other than that, like, that's not, that's not the only thing. It's, it's very, very simple if you have a DK, because then they can just do exactly what you do on Heroic and just hold the boss the whole time. Wait, what? On, uh, on Mythic, uh, Root Keeper. The tank that you have on the boss that does, that does all the eggs pretty much has to be DK. Oh, okay. Is it because of, uh, Shell, or...? Uh, it's because of the, uh, the debuff that she puts on the tank. Yeah, they can AMS it on. Yeah, and they can, they can AMS and prevent it from getting a stack, so they can reset their stacks. Yeah, I oh, yeah. You can probably, uh... You can probably does gnome racial do the same thing. I think that's I think that does I think that does roots. They nerfed it so much. Well it's it's I don't know. I mean technically technically the, the human racial just removes stuns, but I guess it considers it a stun. It's too far Well you can you can bop people out of it, right? I thought I saw bops going off. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was definitely a clutch. I didn't bop anybody. Well, good job. You bop too. You got bop. Who's zooming who? I don't take bop on that. I believe that. I don't need it. Nice, we did it. Because freedom does the same thing and it's on a 20 second yeah. cooldown. So. Uh oh, okay. It looked like it was Bob, but I don't know. It was definitely it had to be Bob. That was it was a hundred percent Bob. Some some uh, there there were, there were people that were broken. getting busted out of webs, very clearly getting a paladin blessing. He will not take a place of honor with the I've ancestor freed up a couple people, but not much. My thanks outside.